What's up guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to another video. My name is Charlie and today I want to be talking about how to properly maintain and take care of your ceramic coated car. But first, if you're new to the channel and you find this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe down below. And uh, with that out of the way, let's just get right to it. Now the first thing I'm going to say about all these tips and tricks is that these are applicable to any brand of coating that you want to use. Uh, so if you ceramic coat your car yourself, like I did with this Porsche behind me, I used Ammo NYC's kit. I really like it, it's fantastic. Or if you pay a professional shop to use something like one of G-Technic's professional line coatings, all of these tips will help you and help maximize the lifespan and performance of your coating. So keep that in mind that it doesn't matter which kit you go with, as long as it's installed properly, these tips will help maintain it the right way. Now we're gonna start off with the most simple tip and this is so overlooked by a lot of people is a proper washing method. You wanna make sure you understand how to wash a car properly. You need to know how to do that anyways, but especially with a ceramic coating because you're probably gonna have spent a lot of time if you did it yourself or a lot of money if you paid someone else to apply this coating. So you wanna make sure you take care of it because if you have an improper wash technique, you can just destroy the coating and it won't do what it's supposed to do and you won't be happy with it. So make sure you have a proper washing uh, technique down. Now there's a lot of different washing techniques, whether it's a two bucket, a one bucket, three bucket method, um, all those sorts of things. I'm not gonna get into what kind of method is the best. There's a lot of really good methods, but the important bit is to make sure that you have the right quality tools and materials. And what I mean by that is that the first thing you wanna address is your car wash soap. Now. There are a lot of really good soaps on the market for ceramic coated cars, but the thing to keep in mind that's going to be really helpful to your ceramic coating is to not pick a soap that has a lot of waxes in it. A lot of times if you go to an auto parts store or Walmart or somewhere, your local store, a lot of the soaps you buy will have wax in them, and that's not necessarily bad for the coating. It's not going to have a negative impact on the coating, but what that's going to do is it's going to add a layer of wax on top of your coating. Now coatings have an awesome hydrophobic property and they repel dust and water really well, but they only do that if they can come in contact with the water and the dust. But if you put a layer of wax on top of it, the coating can't really do its job. It's being covered up. Uh, an analogy is kind of like if you have a brand new cell phone with an amazing screen on it and you put a really cheap screen protector on it, the screen is very good underneath it, but it still looks bad because you have this bad screen protector on top of it. I don't know if that makes sense, but just make sure that we don't want to be putting things on top of the coating. Uh, we want it to be just the pure coating on top. So they sell soaps that have nothing in them except for cleaners, which is what I use. Um, and then they also sell soaps that have SiO2 or the principal component of ceramic coatings infused into the soap, which helps add a little bit of protection as you wash the car. Now those are more expensive than other soaps, but they do a really good job of washing and protecting specifically to ceramic coated cars. Now, like with the soap, you wanna make sure that you have really high quality towels like this one. This is a wash rag from The Rag Company. They're really not that expensive, but they're really high quality. I really like them. And these are actually what I use to wash my car. Now you can use a microfiber wash mitt, um, but what I like to use, I actually saw this technique on Ammo's uh, YouTube channel, Larry uh, from Ammo. Uh, I really like this technique is where I use just a handful of microfiber towels on an individual panel so I only have one bucket with soap and water and then probably five or six of these towels and you just pull one new towel out wipe a panel down and then I discard this and put this in a wash bin to wash later and I grab a new one for the next panel so you're never having to uh, dunk and like get the dirt off this and re-soak it like with the two bucket method you just grab a new one every panel and I really like that a lot but that might not be for everybody but these are fantastic towels to wash the car and also as we'll get to later to use detail sprays or any kind of like finishing spray you really want to make sure you have a really high quality microfiber towel because anytime you touch the car um, you're risking putting in scratches and swirl marks and things like that, and you don't want to do that if you don't have to, so it's really helpful to invest a little bit of money in the front end and some really nice towels to start with. If you take care of these, they last a long time. They're gonna help maximize the life of your coating and take care of it the best way possible. Now, when you're done washing your car and it's time to dry it, I'm not gonna get it out right now because it's incredibly loud and makes an annoying sound, but it's really helpful to have an electric leaf blower to blow the water off the car or a majority of the water off the car. Um, I do have a really nice microfiber drying towel. The rag company also makes 
um, a really nice drying towel, but to get a bulk of the water off so that I don't have to touch the paint as much is to use an electric leaf blower. They're not terribly expensive. I know it's kind of overkill for a lot of people and a good drying towel will be more than enough. But if you have the means, that's one thing that helps minimize anytime you touch the paint. Electric leaf blower can really help with minimizing the scratches put in when drying your car. And that's really pretty much it when it comes to washing. It's nothing really complicated. It doesn't have to be expensive. Um, just you really want to get a really good wash soap, uh, something that's quality. If it's something dedicated for SiO2 for ceramic coatings, that's even better. But just a good soap that doesn't have wax in it, a good microfiber towel or wash mitt, and then a good microfiber towel to dry the car off with. That's going to be a great start in making sure that as you do your maintenance washes, it doesn't put in any scratches or any more scratches or degrading the coating itself. And you should do that fairly often. Now you'll notice with the ceramic coating, one of the major benefits, and I love this about uh, when I'm washing with the Porsche behind me, is that a properly maintained ceramic coating makes washing so much easier. I can take my pressure washer and pretty much wash the car like 90% clean just by spraying it off with water. So when I, by the time I get to actually soap and bucket and wash mitt, uh, there's really not much to take off, which means that there's not as much you're picking up in the towels, which means that there's not as much being brushed around the surface, putting in scratches. So it all helps work towards itself, but you wanna make sure that you properly maintain it so that it keeps those properties and makes it easy to clean for a long time. So make sure you keep up washing your car. Don't let it get way too dirty. A lot of people think that with a ceramic coating, you don't have to wash your car anymore. That's not true. You definitely still have to wash your car. It just is much easier. Now, that's one of those misconceptions about ceramic coatings in general. And if you have some more questions about that, check out a link uh, in the video somewhere on the screen now uh, to a video I made about some of the common myths about ceramic coatings that you don't want to get mixed up because there's some things you need to know about it before you put it on your car and expect something that's not realistic. So once you have your washing down pat and you have that schedule and you rock and roll and you know how to wash your car properly, what you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of add a, a boosted layer of ceramic coating or SiO2 is the base to the ceramic coating. I do this probably once a month or so just because it's fun. It's a little bit overkill. You really should do this probably every two to three months depending on how often you wash the car. The more you wash it, maybe the sooner you wanna do this. But a lot of times these boosts are a sprayable form of SiO2. Some good examples of this type of SiO2 booster are these sprayable um, sprays here from Shine Supply and G-Technic. Um, I really like this. This G-Technic C2 liquid crystal ceramic sealant is awesome. And then Clutch from Shine Supply, that's another really great SiO2 based sprayable topper kind of thing. It can be used as a standalone SiO2 protection but it's nowhere near as good as applying a full ceramic coating like this, like this Adams Graphene Ceramic Coating. This one's pretty good. I like this one. I used it on the wheels on my C7, but these are designed as so kind of a maintenance interval to help add in an extra layer, just kind of help refortify the coating. Coating shouldn't degrade, obviously. If they're installed correctly in two to three months, it should last lots longer than that, but it's really nice to have these to help kind of boost it up. So if you do have any degradation, this helps kind of top it back up. It helps revitalize the ceramic properties like the hydrophobic properties and dust repellent, things like that. This one's probably my favorite so far. I use it a lot and it makes the paint just so slick. Like it's really slick already with the ceramic coating on it, but with this stuff, it's, it's awesome. I really like using this uh, and it just makes it just everything look it just glows, it's awesome. And then my last maintenance tip is something that uh, you only should have to do every year or two, and that's actually reapply the ceramic coating. So as you can tell from this, again, this is Adam's Graphene Ceramic Coating. Uh, this was a good coating. It's really not that expensive, and you can tell how much, I have at least half a bottle left in here, and that's from doing the wheels and the car uh, on my C7 Corvette, not a big car, but to do the whole car and I still have a lot left. And this stuff, as long as it's sealed properly, has a long shelf life so you can still use it. So in a year, if you take the time, pull the car back into the garage and just go over it once over. You don't have to do two layers of it or anything like that like you might on the first pass, but it's really good to just apply another layer just to really help refortify it. Um, Larry from Ammo NYC, again, a great YouTube channel. If you want to know anything about anything detailing, make sure you check him out. Uh, but he kind of put it best, and I really like this methodology uh, that he has with it, which is you never want to get it to where you're having to fix it. 
always stay ahead of it. So if once a year or once every year and a half, or once every two years, as long as you take care of it and you don't see the performance degrading, you apply another layer to it, it's, it's never gonna get to the point to where it stops doing what you want it to do. It will always be excellent top tier protection and you wanna keep the car protected. Especially if you spend that much money on ceramic coating in the first place or spend the time to do it yourself like I did. You just want to make sure that it's always at its best. So it's really nice to just take the time to reapply the coating once a year or so. That way it always has a large, awesome thick layer of ceramic coating on top protecting your paint underneath. And that kind of actually wraps it up. There's really only these three things. Make sure you wash the car properly. Uh, use some boost sprays once every month or so. And then every once a year or two, reapply the coating. And if you do those things and you do them properly, you're gonna love the way that your ceramic coating behaves, how it acts. It's gonna be so much easier to wash. It's gonna glow when it is clean. It looks super crazy, crystal clear. It's really slick to the touch, although don't touch your paint, it just, it just is. Um, and it's, you're gonna get the most out of your coatings that way. So like I said, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe down below. And if you have any questions about anything, make sure you leave a comment down below. And if you wanna see anything else about ceramic coating or anything like that, Make sure you check out the videos in the description below or on my channel on the playlist for detailing. There's a few other videos that are about ceramic coating that may help you out. And until then, I'll catch you in the next one.